Hello, welcome to Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. Today we're taking a look at these two Lego compatible Hot Wheels cars. I found them at my local Target and they looked cool. I had not seen these before. They are part of the Brick Rides series. Uh, this is three out of five and four out of five. Uh, we'll see if I can hunt down the rest of them, but I'm not a completionist by any means. Uh, so if I run into them, cool. If not, no big deal. And obviously they intrigued me because of the uh, Mega Constructs elements, which of course are Lego compatible. And it uh, looks like you can just kind of build them with various different parts and obviously add your own stuff. Uh, so we're going to crack these open and take a look. Uh, oh, these, this always makes me nervous because you only get one shot at these videos. Uh, once, once you've done it, you... You can't unbox it, so. Also, not to be an old curmudgeon, but uh, back in my day, I remember when Hot Wheels used to cost 74 cents, and now they cost a dollar and 15. Corporate greed is a thing. All right, so we have, this is brick and delivery, and this is brick and motor. Love, love the pun there, brick and motor. That's, that's clever. Uh, so it's interesting that they went with a, a odd number. So three studs across. Um, I guess it would have been too narrow to have four and two. Although two would have been balanced, it would have also been, you know, kind of, uh, it would have been not enough studs. So Interesting to see how that works out. Let's go ahead and open the second one and then we'll take a look at both of them. Oh no, I'm destroying the collectability. Who cares? They're children's toys, get over it. All right, so this is brick and motor. It's definitely got a hot rod look to it. Although it's interesting that the skull here, is that a skull with a mustache? It's on the front in the picture, but for some reason on the top in the package. So this is a, definitely a hot rod looking thing, and this is a delivery van. And let's play around. We're going to play around just with these before I bring out my own pieces. And we'll also bring out a Lego minifigure here to see how that works. So if you strip it down to the base, uh, this one is definitely a bit more specialized. This one you could add a whole lot of stuff onto that if you wanted to. Looks like... That won't quite fit, and even though that fits, it's, so you can do a little bit of modification with this, I guess, make a very strange whatever that is, uh, but not a whole lot. This, this is, that just looks, that just looks silly. So I think not a whole lot of rearranging out of the box but let's add our own pieces now and see what that does so here's an alpha team thing and here's a lego minifigure let's see if we if we stack this here then we can kind of have like a we can have a spot for the minifigure to sit right although it's going to be off balance so we'd probably need some some jumper plates here i'm a little bit nervous about putting plates on here because of the lip but we'll put we'll put a plate on there so that our minifigure can be centered there you go <laughs> and that's just absolutely ridiculous i, I love it so you can have your minifigure right around in a whatever this is. Uh, that's great. So there's that. Uh, let's try and put some more stuff on this one. Uh, again, this, this is going to be a bit tricky because of that. The, there are three studs across. Alright. Um, yeah, I guess you could give it a you could give it some sort of like air scoop. I don't know. 
these probably aren't the best pieces to customize this with. I'm sure if you had, if I brought out my entire box of small bits, you could probably use a bunch of cheese slopes and things like that and make a more convincing mod. But for now, we're just kind of stuck with what I pulled off the shelf. Oh, that, that's an interesting look right there, kind of like a, a roll cage almost, although it's flexible, so not really, not really that protective, but yeah. So these are pretty cool. Uh, I, I like it. I'd say it's definitely worth the price of admission, uh, and I'm sure with some smaller pieces like cheese slopes and things like that, you'd be able to put together some pretty cool mods there. Kind of reminds me a bit of the Tiny Turbo series, which I quite enjoyed as a child. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Consider subscribing for more videos. Take care. Bye.